Garden Office Build Series. This is the second video in the series and you can find the first one popping up right here, in case you missed it. In the last episode, we put the foundations and timber floor frame in. In this video, we'll be putting up the walls and the cladding. You might think this is a strange combination, but it will all become clear in a minute. we're working on 600 millimeter centers. This means we have 600 millimeters between each stud. For the window, we followed a standard setup, doubling up the studs on the outside to create king studs with jack studs on the inside. For the header, we have two two by fours together to provide strength. Everything is then covered in nine millimeter OSB. Cladding, we've added Tyvek house wrap. This is a waterproof membrane that prevents water and air getting inside the structure. In general, it was quite expensive and I ended up buying a 100 meter roll and then selling the rest afterwards. More on this in the cost video to come. Next comes the cladding. For the three walls I don't see directly, I chose to clad with anthracite box profile cladding. This is super simple to install. It comes with the screws as well as the colored caps to match the cladding color. I needed to cut it to match the profile of my roof which drops 90 millimeters from front to back. This was an interesting game. We tried everything from circular saws to angle grinders, but the winner in the end was the jigsaw with the cleanest cut and with a good level of control. So after we framed out the hole for the window, um, although we measured it out and we had it on the um, drawing scale and it all looked fine, now I'm looking at it thinking it's a bit bigger than we wanted. It's well over half, it's, it is half the wall, it's two meters, um, and it's much deeper than I was expecting. Fortunately, the window's not arrived yet, um, so we're going to get it reduced. Um, got in touch with the company making it and it's not even been started to be made yet so we can what is a two meter by 600 meter gap we're going to half that to a two meter by 300 mil two meter by 600 mil currently and we're going to make that a two meter by 300 mil gap um, so now we'll have to frame and we'll have to add on framing up to halfway um, but that shouldn't be a problem as you'll be able to see, we've got loads of this house wrap sticking out. This was because we had to house wrap it before we put the walls up because the walls are so close to the fence. We weren't going to be able to OSB house wrap and then um, clad after we put the walls up. That had to all be done beforehand. So we had to then, to create a uh, waterproof seal, we siliconed in the gap um, as we push the walls together and so that should create our vapor barrier theoretically. Also double plated 
the top of every wall. Um, this is mainly because our joists up the top here. So at the moment, our roof joists don't sit on top of um, one of the studs. If, it did, if they did sit on top of the studs, we could maybe get away with not having to double top plate. Um, but if in any case, it just makes it stronger. We're now going to skip forward in the order in which I did things in, just to cover off the cladding at the front of the garden office here too. I got sucked in by all the pretty pictures of cedar cladding on other people's garden offices, but once I'd done some research, I couldn't really believe how much it costs. I ended up buying larch, which I think looks equally as good, and costs half the price of the cedar. But it was still expensive in my eyes compared to everything else on the project. I used a company called Southgate Timber who I'd really recommend and I'll put a link to them below. I wanted to install it vertically so I needed to run two sets of battens so that there was an air gap behind the cladding. This air gap needs to run top to bottom which is why you need vertical and horizontal battens. I went for a wide larch plank at 144mm with a shallow gap. I then used the natural oil wood stain for UV protection. There's still some fine detail to do around the door, but I'm really happy with how it's looking. 